In this video, I want to integrate 16x squared take away 11x take away 15 over x plus 1, 2x minus 1, 5x plus 3. Now, in order to do that, I need to know that I'm going to have to use partial fractions to split this up first. Okay? So, 16x squared take away 11x take away 15 over x plus 1, 2x minus 1, 5x plus 3 is equivalent to a over x plus 1 plus b over 2x minus 1 plus c over 5x plus 3. So multiplying through by the denominator, 16x squared take away 11x take away 15 will be equivalent to a times 2x minus 1 times 5x plus 3 plus b lots of x plus 1 times 5x plus 3 plus c lots of x plus 1 times 2x minus 1. Okay, I'm now going to choose some values of x to substitute in uh, to knock out these terms. So if we start with uh, x is equal to minus 1, then first of all substitute it into the left-hand side. So we're going to get 16 plus 11, take away 15, so 12. And on the right-hand side, it knocks out this bracket and this bracket, leaving us with just this bracket here. So we're going to have 2 lots of minus 1, take away 1, times by 5 lots of minus 5, sorry, 5 lots of minus 1, plus 3. And so that gets us 6 lots of A, and so A must be equal to 2. So that's our first missing value. Right, now we're going to let x be equal to uh, 1 half. So on the left-hand side, we get 16 lots of a half squared. Take away 11 lots of a half. Take away 15. And that's minus 33 halves. Now on the right-hand side, it knocks out this bracket and this bracket. So just get left with those terms there. So we have 1 half plus 1 times by uh, 5 times a half plus 3. And that gets us 33 quarters times B. OK, and so that means that B would have to be equal to minus 2. Right, so finally, let X be equal to minus 3 fifths. So on the left-hand side, 16 lots of minus 3 fifths squared. Take away 11 lots of minus 3 fifths. Take away 15. And that's minus 66 over 25. And on the right-hand side, it's going to knock out that bracket and that bracket. So we've got x plus 1. So minus 3 fifths plus 1 times by 2 lots of minus 3 fifths. Take away 1. And so that's minus 22 twenty-fifths C. And so C would have to be equal to 3. So I can now write this integral as the integral of A over x plus 1, so 2 over x plus 1, plus B over 2x minus 1, so take away 2 over 2x minus 1, plus C, 3 over 5x plus 3, dx. Okay, now I need to integrate each term. So 2 over x plus 1. Now the denominator differentiates to 1 and we've got 2. So this will be 2 log x plus 1. The denominator here differentiates to 2 which is precisely what I have in the numerator. So this will be take away the natural log of 2x minus 1. And the denominator here differentiates to 5, and we've got 3, which is 3 fifths of what I need. So plus 3 fifths times the natural logarithm of 5x plus 3. And then add on your constant of integration. And so that is the result that we were looking for.